Knobcon coverage brought to you by Signal Sound and Lefaco, Future Sound Systems, Low Gain Electronics, Steady State Fit, Funk, and Expert Sleepers. So here at Knobcom, with New System Instruments, how's it going? Good, good, excellent, happy to be here. I've heard talks of physics motions, uh, function generators that are filters, yep, uh, all sorts of interesting things, and you've had some interesting modules for a little while now. Thank you, yeah. Um, yeah. Before we check out the modules, like, what's kind of the MO of the company? Like, what, what are you wanting to design? Like, where are you coming from? So um, my, my ethos is sort of like, it's probably more more surge than Buchla, like okay. like very trying to get into um, you know uh, dissolve things to their their sort of most basic elements yeah. in order to get really complex things. Yeah, that's that surge thing of like on the surface it is really simple. Right. Like a voltage goes up, a voltage comes down. Yeah. But then the how complex that gets is what's then fascinating about it. Yeah, but, but I, I sort of, I, I guess, you know, a little bit differently than Surge. I, I tend to come at it from a very mathematical perspective. Okay. Like, to try and think, you know, not just what can electronics do, but like what can math do in the first okay. place. And then, you know, once I'm there, figure out how to implement that in electronics, which is sometimes simple and sometimes very complicated yeah um, yeah but nice. uh, but yeah so you know I make I make all analog stuff uh, try to make it sound really good well, that's another level of complexity if you were trying to implement maths and say physics in code that almost seems easier in my mind it's it's uh, there's trade-offs so with okay. with uh, with analog you have a different frequency space because it goes to infinity yeah. Uh, whereas you gotta worry about the maximum frequency with digital stuff, so sometimes things are okay. actually a little bit easier in analog. Um, right. Okay. So yeah, I mean, let's check out some modules. What have you got patched up? All right. So right now, um, this patch is the harmonic shift oscillator into inertia, and inertia here is acting as a filter. So uh, the harmonic shift oscillator. Uh, Basically, it has control over level, which is how bright or how dark something is. And then we also have control over stride, and this is the spacing between harmonics. So you can get these enharmonic sounding things, um, kind of FM like tones. You can get really like bell like tones from it. Um, and this is all internal shifting round of harmonics, and this isn't by modulating with something else to get FM-like tones. No, it's, it's, all internal it's not to that FM. Module. It's yeah. not FM. Uh, the difference with FM, it doesn't. It only has a sideband to to the positive, rather okay. than you get those negative sidebands with FM. It's a bit like the difference between a VCA and a and a um, and a ring mod. Like thinking of it like two quadrant instead of four um, quadrant, but in a frequency domain as opposed to amplitude. Uh, I, I mean I mean only the positive Ooh. frequencies. So oh, okay. like so it goes from the fundamental up. It right, doesn't yeah. go down from the fundamental, yeah, which you'll get not with a few that zero thing. Okay. Um, which you know it's not necessarily better or worse, it's just no, it's what it is. Um, but yeah, and then that's going through inertia. So inertia is a function generator. Um, it has rise and fall like any other function generator. It's exponential, unlike the surge one. Um, and but then it also has rise and fall momentum, so that'll overshoot okay. the target and then fall back down to it. So does that give like a rip, like almost like a resonance on the envelope, like a ripple effect? Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. So you can you can get it to do like woggle bug like things. Okay. Patching a sample and hold into it. You can, uh, you know, get it to do to give you a peak on on an ADSR type of thing. Okay. Um, and then in this case, it's providing that resonant peak. Um, so that high resonant peak is happening because of this. And then of course, you know, like, unlike, you know, all function generators can be used as a filter, but of course this has, this has a lot of complexity with that momentum. Like most of them don't sound very good as filters. Yeah, I mean, they're, uh, they're like a, 
yeah, pseudo low pass gatey linear right. big filter thing. Yeah, like when I yeah. I mean, they're all right. They're fine. all right. You know, if it's what you want, it's the right thing. But, is that um, to do with it being exponential rather than linear? It, that's that's probably the main reason. Um, but the other reason is just it has this you know <clears throat> inbuilt resonance. Which is, you know, like that's what you want when you want to have, if you're doing a filter. Yeah. You want a nice, big, fat resonance. Um, <clears throat> but of course, you know, you can skew the resonance. You can have it different for rise and fall. You can have different rise and fall cutoffs. Okay. Um, the different rise and fall cutoffs will also shape the resonance. Um, right? And of course, you know, you turn it all the way up and it self oscillates. Um, and not being linear, it's got a lot of edge to it. There's already a lot of tone just to that It has a ton of edge, yeah. Yeah, and it works pretty good as an oscillator, too. Um, but yeah, that, that, uh, that resonant peak ends up being a sawtooth wave when you have you know, this set with a really skewed input yeah. too. So you can actually be adding harmonics with your filter yeah. rather than just Yeah, not just through some saturation. There's some actual interesting wave shaping yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So is there a couple of other modules in the system, not in this patch, or? Yeah, let me, let me bring these other things in too. So uh, this is the triphase oscillator, which this is my newest module. Um, that's what's on the screen here, too. Um, and basically, this is a take on, you know, a super saw, pulse width modulation, phase modulation, something like that, right? Um, where basically I have three phases of a sawtooth wave. Um, and you control the phase of them and then how much they're mixed together. So this is a bipolar mixer too. So you can go from super saw to you know something that's more like pulse width um, and everything in between. <coughs> and yeah, so it's the idea was to give you that sense of bigness and hugeness from a yeah. super saw or a chorus or whatever else. Yeah. But to get really minute control over everything. Okay, got so you. So you can have you it. often get little control. There might just be a single rate control on a typical super saw type right. thing. Right, right, right. But here you have control over every phase. Um, they do go to audio rate, so it's a little bit different than normal FM. Um, it's almost more like sync. Uh, yeah, there's definitely like, like ripping and tearing kind of sync edge to it. Yeah. Um, But yeah, it's it just ends up sounding really good. Um, yeah, it sounds great. So I'll put links down in the description. Great. Rather than going through pricing and availability, these are all out now, right? These are all out now. Yep, I'll link all that up below. All right, great. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.